This is Leslie Langnaut, Managing Editor of Design World Magazine, and I am here with Rick Griffin of Molex. Good and good morning, how are you doing good, today? Good. And Rick is going to talk to us a little bit about some of the new developments and changes in the I.O. modules and in the cards that you have here that are going to make it easier for engineers to do some of their tasks. So, Absolutely. What, what we're looking at from a Molex perspective, fairly new into a lot of the different spaces in the industrial market, um, especially into the packaging market, but we take a look at what can we do to make it easier for not only a design engineer, but for uh, a maintenance staff and also for the people that are doing the installation, in many cases off-site, different countries globally. Right. Um, so through a mixture of IP67 technologies, which is where Molex is incredibly strong, is to say how can we uh, make that product very easy to do the design work on, plug and play, uh, very little connections. Instead of having multiple connection systems, you would try to reduce that down to maybe one or two to cover off your power and your communication, which is very important. So what have you done specifically with these modules to help facilitate that connection? So one of the technologies that we use today is called Ultralock. And instead of having to actually take connectors and thread them in multiple uh, rotations, it's actually a push style technology. Very, very quick for it to, to install, very secure, watertight, which is great for the packaging market and the food and beverage market. Um, and so I think that in itself, and it's very good for vibration, which after you've got something installed for a long period of time, motion is going to take that and cause issues with it. So we've taken that out uh, and put it into our block style format. So you'll be able to see that technology across a lot of things that we do in the IP67 space. Um, but as we get into, there's always going to be uh, control cabinets for systems. And so what we have, the other thing we try to do is a lot of challenges for design engineers or even people that are on the, the plant floor is how do they bridge between certain uh, communication right. technologies right. of different vendors. Yeah. So what we do is, uh, when Molex did the acquisition of Woodhead uh, several years ago, one of the pieces that came in is a company called SST mm -hmm. and Applecom. Mm -hmm. And in that division, we developed some of the best, strongest core communication technologies globally. And we are a, a major supplier to some of the, the uh, control companies out there. So if we take, um, I don't think we're going to take a look at the camera, but if we look up here, we actually create these gateways or these remote masters that are going to make it much, much easier for, for this automation process to be simpler, better user experience, and much easier to do. Are there any specific issues that the engineer has to keep in mind when he's looking at your products for his application? I think really the, the, the form factor is one that they always have to keep in mind. Because the communications are standards, um, we have to adhere to that. There's governing bodies to do that. They have to look at, is it something that they're going to want inside of a control panel? Do they have the space for it? Is it something that they want to run remotely? Uh, is it something that in the future, will they want to have it in a, a sealed package so that really they just mount it to the side of a machine, provide communication and power, and now they've got themselves a, you know, a very clean solution, easy to install, easy to integrate. Okay. And where's Ted? You and Ted were both telling me a little bit about how you're putting the power in with the Ethernet connectivity. Correct. This is Ted. Hi. And he's gonna, you're going to tell me a little bit about how you've managed to put the power and the Ethernet communications into the cabling safely and without any noise issues. Yes, uh, so most recently Molex had introduced a new connector uh, into their M12 product families and uh, we call this connector M12 CHT. And CHT stands for Circular Hybrid Technology. Here's, uh, here's the connector. So we've taken the existing M12 uh, technology and we developed a connector that brings uh, communication and power in one connector interface. And the way we accomplish this, we've taken uh, uh, shielding technology for uh, fast uh, Ethernet, 10100 fast Ethernet, and we've uh, isolated power from uh, the Ethernet uh, using shielding concept. Uh, and uh, in this uh, bundled uh, arrangement, we've uh, introduced uh, two twisted pair 10100 fast Ethernet, and by shielding that, isolated it from power pair. So when you look at the connector interface, you can see uh, a bundled uh, CAT5E 10100 fast Ethernet and two power pins. 
The power pins are rated at up to 12 amps per pin, and uh, uh, it's basically it's a new revolutionary way of combining power and Ethernet in one connector interface. The key benefits of this uh, in, uh, are that uh, instead of two connection points, now customer can use one connector to bring both CAD 5e Ethernet and power in one connector interface. What it means is less connection points, less cost, less uh, labor and overhead associated with uh, uh, putting two connectors and two connector interfaces and now instead of that doing one connection point. And this is different from power over Ethernet. Yes, it is different from power over Ethernet. And, and uh, the advantage of this is that uh, power over, over Ethernet has limited power supply. And there are only uh, small devices that require less more power, such as uh, video devices or cameras that could uh, use that technology. For any devices uh, that uh, require more power, this is a best, the best solution because it provides, uh, this connector provides up to 12 amps per pin of amps. power. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Now, are there any length issues? Are there uh, anything else that an engineer needs to know when he's working on his communication schematic? Uh, no, not, uh, the connector has been tested to all CAT 5D performance and uh, levels and connection systems are tested up to 90 meters, uh, which is typical for any Ethernet related implementation in M12 form. So they should be able to just hook this in, twist it on, and it should go? Yes, it, it is a fast method of connecting and terminating in an M12 format. And you basically, you, you connect this to your receptacle interface, you turn it down, twist, uh, turn it, torque it to a volume to obtain IP67 connection, and you're, go, you're good to go. And one of the benefits I was hearing in, in here earlier is that it really allows you to take the machine out, put a new one in, hook it up, and you're ready to go pretty much, right? Yes, absolutely. You're not only uh, reducing the number of connection points, but you, you also maintain flexibility. And that flexibility includes uh, any uh, relocation of equipment, readjustment, uh, moving equipment from a menu point of manufacture and installing it at actual installation site. Now, this ability to move equipment is very popular in the automotive and in the packaging industries. Is it also coming to other industries? Yes, I, I definitely believe that uh, material handling would be one. We've seen that in our core uh, competencies areas, factory automation such as automotive, where automotive systems are changing so frequently. As you know, auto manufacturers are uh, releasing a new model nearly every year, maybe every other year, and what comes with it, every segment of the automotive line, uh, paint line, the weld line, uh, assembly lines, all is changing, and uh, we allow our customers to quickly redevelop, reassign, reallocate their equipment. And still following the parameters of Ethernet or Profibus or whatever communication network they're working right. with. Yes, and uh, we are definitely allowing to do that uh, in any connection system, in any technology from power to uh, network communications such as, and protocols such as device and Profibus, Ethernet and uh, Profinet. Uh, and uh, we do that with our connection, uh, connect connectivity products as well as, as, well as, as, well as our I IO products, which uh, Rick had talked about. Great, thank you. Thank you, Ted, and thank you, Rick.